Hello again, this is Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. Recently we introduced the 2015 version of Coin Managed Coin Software, and it's been quite a while. It's been a um, year and a half or so since we released a major new version, and there have been many improvements and new features. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of the new features in the program. So first of all, on the main screen, you're going to notice a couple of changes. Uh, one of them is we've added about 500 new variety images to the software. Um, so, for example, for the 1819, I'm sorry, 1812, uh, one cent, classic head one cent, you'll see uh, a variety, an image showing the difference between the large date and small date. Another difference is when you click on a coin now, you, for mi most of the United States coins, not all, but most of them, you'll see uh, links to NGC Coin Explorer and Numis Media, as well as the old standby PCGS coin facts, which is here. So if we want to look at the NGC Coin Explorer information page for the 1906 Indian cent, all we need to do is click here. And there you go. 1906 Indian cent shows you all sorts of things. Uh, recent auction res results, pricing, NGC, well, you have to you have to subscribe them uh, to the NGC census, auction prices realized, etc. Now, another new feature is you notice here other coins in inventory of the same variety. Basically, that's going to show you any other coins of this exact same variety that have been inventoried, even if they're in another collection. So as we see here, we have two other 1906 Indian cents, one in VGA condition the other in G4 condition and they're in separate collections. G4 is in Dad's collection which is one that's currently open. US, my US coin collection is right here. Um, so if you want to look at the one, the VG8 variety just click here it automatically opens it up. I'm going to go back to the one in Dad's collection just go right there. Um, Another new feature is you're going to see a sold coins folder. And as the name implies, it just basically shows you all the coins that you have actually sold. And along with each coin, you're going to be getting the selling information. Now, obviously, once you've sold the coin, it's not like in, in your inventory, but it's a good idea to be able to uh, show the information for the coin, the selling price, and whatnot. In the view section, <coughs> excuse me, we have a new buy coin value section which lets you quickly look at coins of a particular value. So for example, if you want to look at like coins that are worth from five to twenty-five dollars, you just click on there. From five hundred to five thousand, you click on here. There's also another buy bullion type, which is a good way to look at all your bullion coins of a particular metal. So if you want to look at all your silver coins, you just click there. So that's a, that's a part one of what's new. We're going to be uh, creating a new part two video soon. Thank you for watching.